Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, just to uh, show you where to do it, if in case it happens and you're wondering where you can actually change it, uh, if your default browser, whatever you use, is changed, uh, just find the browser and apply it as the default again. So to do this, you simply go to your settings in Windows 11 and go into apps and then you'll see default apps and there you can actually choose set default for application you choose and you search for your browser so if it's brave just choose brave if it's chrome you choose chrome if it's firefox then just choose firefox and what you do is set as default make firefox your browser your default browser you will click set default. This will change the default browser you use, and you're going to see the changes come in the different settings where HTTP, HTTPS, and all of that. And of course, some of the things are going to retain, are going to stay with uh, Edge, depending on what they do. But the bulk of what navigation on the web is doing and the links that you click are going to open. Uh, your favorite browser by default. So just search for your browser, and it's also in the list here if you want to search it through a list. Um, but uh, just search your favorite browser if it's Chrome. In my case, I could choose Chrome, for example, and say set default, and you see that it changes automatically to defaults. And things should be back to normal in case Microsoft does mess up on your system. Um, by the way, I was, the previous video I didn't mention which version of, of um, Windows, but it seems that the people that have been affected with the change and default for the browser, for Microsoft Edge being taking over whatever other browser you were using is really specific to Windows 11 and Windows 10, that does not happen. Uh, so uh, they're really, really messing up mostly Windows 11 users. You know, this is another way um, we talk about how its adoption rate and how people are, you know, don't want to move on. Uh, but you know, when you do things like that, you know, intentionally changing the default of what browser you're using uh, without the user permission, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't help in making you go to Windows 11. People hear these stories and they're like, well... That's another reason I'm staying on Windows 10. So I think Microsoft needs to be careful with that. And uh, they really, really um, don't understand how doing that is actually not helping out at all uh, what people think. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.